What does a $500 billion price tag look like in a desert? Neom. Saudi Arabia's mega project promises to reshape urban life with futuristic technology and design. But in 2025, it's facing financial setbacks, leadership changes, and social challenges. Will this audacious vision overcome the odds to become reality? Neom is the center of Saudi Arabia's Vision 2030, which aims to reduce the country's dependence on oil. The city is meant to cover a vast 26,500 square kilometers of desert. But what makes Neom truly stand out is the idea behind Behind it. A massive city built to be sustainable, ultra modern, and entirely powered by renewable energy sources. Neom will feature groundbreaking technologies in transportation, energy, and digital connectivity, including AI driven autonomous transportation, electric vehicles, drones, and Hyperloop networks. Its energy infrastructure will rely entirely on renewable sources like solar, wind, and geothermal, with advanced storage technologies such as hydrogen fuel cells. Smart grids will optimize energy distribution, while a robust 5G network and cognitive technologies will enhance urban management. The city will integrate AI-powered waste management, advanced water purification, and desalination technologies. Healthcare innovations will focus on AI-driven personalized medicine, while AI-powered surveillance will enhance public safety. Neom's research centers and universities will drive global innovation, positioning the city as a model for future urban developments. The most talked about part of Neom is the line. Two skyscrapers stretching 170 kilometers across the desert, rising 500 meters into the sky. These buildings would house homes, offices, parks, schools, and more. The idea is to create a vertical city that maximizes sprawl while preserving the environment. Sounds like something out of science fiction, right? But the scale of the project is huge, and that comes with serious challenges. One of the first signs that things were not going smoothly came in 2023, when Nadmi Al Nasser, Neom's CEO, suddenly resigned. Al Nasser had been at the helm since 2018, but reports suggested his leadership style didn't sit well with everyone. It's said that he faced pressure for not meeting certain performance goals, and his management tactics were seen as controversial by some. In his place, Ayman al Mudefer, who had previously worked with Saudi Arabia's public investment fund, was appointed. His new task? To bring stability back to Neom and ensure the project keeps moving forward. But with everything that's happening, it's clear that turning things around won't be easy. When Neom was first introduced, it aimed to accommodate 1.5 million residents by 2030, offering a futuristic, sustainable city powered by renewable energy. However, that ambitious target has been significantly scaled back. Instead, the new estimate is just 300,000 residents, which raises questions about the original vision's feasibility. The complexity of building such a massive city in the desert, along with environmental challenges, logistical issues, and financial constraints, has made the grand plan seem increasingly unrealistic. A major factor in this scaling back is the rising cost of construction and the financial pressures stemming from fluctuating oil prices, which have strained Saudi Arabia's budget. With costs growing and funding harder to secure, the government has adjusted its expectations, leading to a more modest approach. Additionally, the iconic line that was originally planned to stretch 170 kilometers will now only cover 2.4 kilometers by 2030. This reduction in size reflects the limitations of the project's time frame, budget, and resources, leaving many wondering if the scaled-back version can still live up to its original promise. Neom faces significant financial challenges due to the lower-than-expected oil prices, making it harder to secure funds for the project. Construction costs are rising, and revenue projections are falling short, putting pressure on the budget. Investor skepticism has grown, with concerns over Neom's long-term viability and high financial risk. As a result, securing investment has become increasingly difficult. Adding to the doubts, reports of unsafe working conditions for migrant laborers involved in the construction of Neom have raised serious concerns. Poor safety standards, along with harsh working environments in the desert, have led to criticism and protests. These issues not only tarnish the project's reputation, but also put additional pressure on Saudi Arabia to address these concerns in order to maintain international credibility and attract investors. With mounting financial and social challenges, questions continue to grow. Is Neom really as feasible as it seemed in the beginning? Or is it a vision that's becoming too difficult to bring to life? 
Another issue plaguing Neom is the social impact, especially on local communities. The Hawatat tribe, for example, has faced forced relocation in order to make space for the city. Some have even spoken out about severe consequences for those who resisted being moved. Human rights groups have criticized this, and the situation has sparked outrage worldwide. But the social impact doesn't stop there. Neom also has big environmental ambitions, aiming to be powered entirely by renewable energy like solar and wind. However, experts are questioning whether it's possible to build such a massive city in the desert without causing significant harm to the local environment. It's a delicate balance between innovation and nature. So, with all these setbacks, can Neom still succeed? Is it possible for this bold vision to become a reality? Or is it all just too much to handle? The short answer? It's hard to say. Neom's construction continues, with some parts of the project still moving forward, like the luxury development on Sandala Island. But with so many obstacles in the way, the future of Neom remains uncertain. The good news is that the Saudi government is still committed to the project as part of its economic diversification strategy. There's no turning back now. The Public Investment Fund is exploring new financial options to keep the project alive, but the question remains, how sustainable is Neom really in the long term? Neom has sparked a lot of skepticism and critique, especially from well-known individuals on social media. Matt Bevan, a journalist, sarcastically responded to a TikTok video about life in Neom, joking, Wow, this is great! I've always wanted to live in an industrial estate on the surface of the sun, highlighting concerns about the harsh desert environment. Hind Ali, a doctoral candidate at University College London, also pointed out a significant gap between Neom's promotional materials and the actual living conditions in Saudi Arabia. She remarked, It's intriguing that there's a clear attempt to gloss over the challenging realities of living in Saudi Arabia, suggesting that the project's marketing overlooks the country's difficult social and political issues. These reactions reflect the growing skepticism surrounding Neom questioning whether the glossy vision can live up to the real-world challenges. If Neom does get completed as planned, it would truly be a marvel of engineering. The line, with its two towering skyscrapers, could redefine urban living. The city would be powered entirely by renewable energy, with state-of-the-art transportation systems, including a high-speed rail running along the full length of the buildings. It could serve as a model for future cities around the world, focusing on sustainability and innovation. However, it's not just about the technology or design. The environmental impact, the social challenges, and the financial viability all play huge roles in whether Neom will succeed or fail. There's no doubt that it's a bold gamble, and the stakes are incredibly high. So, do you think Neom will live up to the hype, or is it destined to fall short of its goals? Will this $500 billion gamble change the way cities are built, or will it be remembered as a dream that never fully came to life? It's still too early to tell. Is it doomed or just delayed? Saudi Arabia's commitment to Neom remains strong despite setbacks, as it's central to Vision 2030's goal of diversifying away from oil. The future of Neom may evolve, potentially altering the megacity vision, but the journey is just beginning. Success could redefine future city planning, while failure could serve as a cautionary tale. What do you think? Will Neom be the city of the future, or is it doomed to remain an expensive idea in the desert? Let us know your thoughts in the comments. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to this channel.